and here I am. Um, Finnig is going to... We have no idea when the fuck Finnig is going to be there. Um, and Rome is going to take a little while. I'm doing great. I just got a new toga. Not toga, tunic. Wow. Rome got a new toga. That very nice. Um, <sighs> and I have no idea how long it'll take me to to come here. No, I'm bleeding. Okay. So, are there any questions for me while I'm the only one entertaining? Because everyone else is slow. Thank you. I know. I do not burn up on the dance floor. Kindly go fuck yourself. What that like? You should be respecting your elbows. Just saying. I'm totally the dancing queen. I'm just uh, a little bit more than seventeen. Just maybe like a thousand eight hundred years. Something. I'm not old, I'm just older than you, because you're like basically an infant, right? So, question? Hello. <sighs> well, I I kind of think I maybe. Uh, Poland Steven Rose is going to be here, right? Because I'm not sure. Steven Rose is going to be here, right? Okay, yes. <laughs> and the Hi. romance. Just fixing Hello. my hair. Salve. I see that. So, I heard dying does wonders for your skin. You would think so. Not always. Have a good day and less good day. Yeah, on my face. But we don't care about the rest of you, right? It's just your face. Oh, I thought that uh, back then there was a very different part of me that was the only thing you cared about. A little bit. I totally forgot my beard. That's fine. <laughs> what horoscope are you? I don't bloody know. We didn't exactly do in horoscopes when I was alive. And I don't have a birthday, so and that's like kind me. of difficult. <laughs> Not everything is about you. Not everything's about you. I like just styled my hair. Now it's like we'll do what you want. I don't think Arthur would appreciate that. It wasn't me. No, it was for that oh. one. Oh, okay. I was like, I was innocent in this matter. Specifically this matter. Yes, so far, but the night is young. And we aren't. <laughs> Speak for yourself. I'm still 21. In my cookies, I think. Huh? I said I'm in my thirties, I think. Yeah, so really, you're the old man. You're saying. Ah, yes, thirty years old. 
old compared to 21. Fair enough. Yeah. If I have any children, that's funny. Uh, I stole a few children. I stole Finn Portal and took care of them for a while, but I do not have children of my own, and neither yeah. have I ever wanted any. Especially not after having anything to do with Spain and Portugal. Um, to me, Spain and Portugal was are lovely. Like, they were tiny demon spawn. Um, to me, was like my you. successor. <laughs> to me, she was my successor, but is not my mm, not my spawn. What did you do? Just kidnap a small child? Um, yes. No, I killed their mother first, and then kidnapped them. So it's even it was, worse than you thought. Exactly. Um, the point was to provoke... Um, I was this close to calling you Russia? <laughs> the point was... <laughs> the point was provoking Rome into a war. Which worked. Which worked. So, I mean... I didn't care much for children. After taking care of Rome, I never ever wanted children of my own. Oh no. Mama Salt will not oh. be joining us. Lovely. So it's just you and me. Again. Am I cursed? Like, what is that? Well, anyways, why why don't you watch? What is what's your question, Miss Sophia? Why I don't want children or something else? I don't want children because they're demons. Carthage hey. treated my children badly, so they treated him badly. That is the moral of the story. They are gross and aggravating and noisy. Why would you want one of those? Why do you want a tiny screaming thing just constantly within your proximity? I don't understand this concept of wanting Because something. they're cute. Oh, get a fucking dog. I don't. I, I. I had enough of that growing up. I don't want another dog. I mean, most of my children I'm... were accidents, so like. So mostly, you just enjoyed the process of making children. You could say that. Yes, indeed. Um, I wasn't doing anything with them. Mostly they had, like, nannies, like, taking care of them. Because, like, that's servants' jobs. And also the children were kind of, like, as soon as the children were old enough, like, I had them just, like, working by themselves. Like, you... That's what children, that's the only children, thing children are good for, right? Working for you. So, yes. Um, and, uh, accidents. What is your worst accident then? Romulus? Or who was your worst accident? Do you mean, like, in a when it happened way, or like what they turned out way? Either, or both. Okay. Um, well, when it happened, 
would probably be Austria or Wales. Both of those were rather bad accidents. Um, the most disappointing it would be uh, well, <laughs> Byzantium. Hands down. No, no that doesn't surprise me. I guess you uh, aren't exactly grieving that your daughter-in-law is not here then. No. I'm actually happy because she hates my guts and I'm not a fan of hers. Who does not hate your guts? Just saying, like... Honestly. China. Really? Probably. Really? That's the only one who I can think wouldn't hate my guts. If you say so. Pretty sure there aren't well, any. Well, who else? I'm just saying, there's probably no one who doesn't hate your guts. I, China was the one who I had least interaction with. Well, Mongolia. I didn't even interact with Mongolia. Mongolia shouldn't hate my guts. Or Finnick. Fair. I know nothing about Mongolia either. Finnick is good. Finnick is fine. Native America, obviously. They might know about... Um, we both kind of died before, like, Mongolia and... Well, yeah, that was before Mongolia and, uh... What else did you say? I well, forgot. you did. I... Yeah. Went yeah, out. whose fault was that? <laughs> Yours. You started the second. Totally your fault. You were saying? I had, you were saying something? I had things to do with it. But it was your fault. Yeah, like lighting the fucking fire. Yeah. Admittedly, I could have done it better. And not like 17 days of death. But I was angry and heartbroken. So I did some things which I would normally wouldn't do. Yeah, of course. Um, are there any questions for either of us? It was either 17 or 14, I can't remember. 17. Long time ago. Oh, 17 okay. days. It's fine. It's fine. What are you talking about? No, it's not it's really fine. fine. Totally fine. It was like over a thousand years ago. Forgive and forget, right? Are there any questions for us? Where's the elf? The elf is being one with the trees. He's having a tea party with the Lorax? Yes. No, wait, I thought he was the Lorax. He's having a tea party with himself. Who else would want to go to a party with him? Scandinavia? I mean, that would explain her non-appearance. Was she invited? I didn't know she was She didn't invited. say she was available. Huh? I said she didn't, she didn't say she was available. Then it's our own fault for not. Well, um, I can see why he stalled you at you. Yeah. A little bit. He may have made quite a few mistakes. Like. Are there any questions? <laughs> hmm. 
not really. Uh, yes, there is. Yes, there are questions. Okay. Ah, okay. Well, then you have to break it into pieces because tiny chat is dumb. Uh, what would you consider your greatest accomplishment? Well, I think it's pretty great we were like, like the first, we had indoor plumbing before Rome did. Also, we, we made it. buildings up to, yeah, we, we, and I also had buildings up to like six stories tall, which I think is pretty cool because nowhere else had that at that time. So, that was pretty awesome. Well, you took it a cool, cool way. I was gonna take it a sad way. Also, I my greatest accomplishment. Hmm? No, I was just gonna say. Also, I literally sent this one screaming away on the battlefield, which I personally think is quite a great accomplishment. No one should use elephants. elephants. No one I'm should use like elephants. Elephants are great. Elephants are terrible. No, elephants are great. I've never seen an elephant before, okay? What is new? Like, they didn't what? exist in Rome. What? what? No shit. They're African. Uh, anyway, what uh, is your greatest accomplishment? I was going to say dying. I... Uh, I completely agree with you there, so no argument for me. Favorite ancients? I quite like Gaul and Egypt. I should say Egypt as my number one because otherwise she'll get mad at me. Egypt, then Gaul. Accurate though. Um, I I also agree. Egypt is my favorite ancient. She's amazing. I'm Failing really bad right now because I just realized maybe my mother would be angry that she was excluded from that list. So also Venetia. <laughs> <laughs> Love you, mom. <laughs> I'll tell Venetia you said that you excluded her from your list of favorite ages. I didn't. I put her on there. I mean, I guess Troy was cool, but like me. Okay, so what about... Hmm? Who did you say your favorite ancients were? Uh, a Egypt. And then I said I'll put Troy down there as well. Okay. Um, but about the elephants. So I've never seen an elephant before. They're African, and this was before I'd expanded down to Africa. So, I'm just, you know, minding my own business in Rome, and then, all of a sudden, over the Alps, the giant mountain range, there are these fucking giant four-legged beasts with these Carthaginians on their backs. And it's like, what? What is this? So yes, I was slightly terrified for understandable reasons. Favorite thing about yourself? Well, I mean, what not to love? I think I'm quite great, like, all around. Um, I think my butt's pretty good. That's your absolutely favorite thing about yourself, your butt. Probably. I'm sure your butt is also the thing most other people like the best about you. What they thought. Oh, mm -hmm. Mr. Rome and Miss Carthage. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not the only one. I'm not the only one who makes that mistake. I'm a guy. Long hair does not equal female, you know. Germania also has long hair. Do you see people? Yes, we do see people misgendering him because it's. 
Ne istiyorum ben? Yeah. I'm going to Kelt has long hair. Them. China has long hair. Yeah. You have a Why thing for men with long hair. Why have I long hair? Yes, you do have a thing for people with long hair. Um, Especially men. Anyway, I'm going to put three oh. sentences down. You have to choose which of the ancients fit those. Uh, one, they call they they call me coffee because I grind so fine. Um, you like saying me? Hmm. Who would be? They call me coffee because I grind so fine. Of the ancients. Who did you say? I said me. I'm gonna put down Persia. Fair, fair. I'm I'm good with that. Uh, they call me coffee because I keep you up past two. That depends which way are we keeping. Uh, is someone being here the way? I'm going with Celt both ways. Sure. Why not? Uh, and then they call me coffee because I'm bitter and and most people don't most like people me without changing like. some aspect of me. Um, well, the bitter part is Celt, but the other part is you, so... Yeah. You know, who's bitter and people want to change them? Um, Egypt? I, no, she's too strong. Greece? Iberia? Like, I can think of people who, like, others want to change, but they're not bitter about it. Like, you and, like, Machia. But Machia isn't bitter about it. Um, Macedon. Macedon. He's really bitter. <laughs> and hits my guts, it's great. Um, Poland asks, wait, you were scared of an elephant? Yeah, because they'd never seen elephants before. Elephants I were not a thing. Giant tusks. I didn't know they were gentle. Like, they didn't look gentle. If, you, if you've never seen an animal that's like a ton, and it's coming charging towards you, you would turn around and run. Like, even if you knew what an elephant was, if one came charging towards you, you would probably still turn and run. They're kind of pretty massive and could trample you. Like, um... Okay. What about Mama Salt? She's bitter, but she doesn't change. No. Nope. Like, she, she's as stubborn as Egypt. She will not change, no matter how much you try and force. Oh, for those three. Well, I'm not going to think about my daughter-in-law in any of those situations. Thanks. I'm good. I... no. Want the more questions? Not about that. Not that I'm someone, seeing. Someone commented that Celt has long hair too. And, uh, yeah, Rome just has a thing for long hair, apparently. I've slept with every male that I know who has long hair, ancient. Like, I haven't slept with female, a lot of female ancients with long hair, because most of them are scary and will destroy me in a loop. I 
I don't think I've ever slept with anyone with long hair. Um, how do you feel about your children or grandchildren? I don't have any. I don't like children. I'm proud about most of them, but um, I'm disappointed that a lot of them decided to try and create an empire, considering what happened to me. <laughs> not, uh, not a good thing. And uh, do you like long hair because it's easier to pull? That and usually it's it's very nice. It's it's brushed a lot, so it's really soft to run your fingers through. Like long hair is just pleasant. Also, um, like if which... they have long hair, they're really hot. Which uh, ancient one? would be like, sorry I was doing things and another ancient runs and they pushed me down the stairs. Um me and Rome. Yes. Or like or Scandinavian Rome. <laughs> or Kelden Rome. Basically anyone who doesn't like Rome and Rome. No 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 Da Sorry. <laughs> no, can you throw me yet? Dasha? Dasha and you. I mean, she already threw you down like a mountain, so... Basically, Wouldn't da even Dasha be like new. That's Romania's mother. She's a piece of work. She's like, yo, I'm going to give you something for your birthday. Come up to this cliff. And I'm like, okay, this sounds interesting. What could happen? I get pushed down cliff. That is what happens. She's definitely a rough diamond. Diamond in the rough. How does it go? Diamond in the rough? Something. Yeah, that's the same. Um... How do you feel about others, grandchildren or children? There's this one kid called Scotland. I like him. He, he also sent Rome to running at first and uh, I, I'm, I like that. Accurate Norway. And if you see a child covered in only blue paint running at you, like, what do you do? You run. It's just... What is one of your biggest regrets? Not marching on Rome when I had the chance. Like, I might not have been at my strongest by that time, but, like, things might have been very different now. My I, biggest like, there was regret... Sorry. Sorry. No, I just said that there was a chance that things would have been different. My biggest regret would probably be... Uh, Remus. We should look him up with the forest instead. Tell us a secret that you either know or one of your own. You're asking us to tell other people's secrets? Oof. The niggas is fake blonde. The carpets don't match the drapes. How should I know I'm gay? <laughs> I wouldn't do I wouldn't do that even if I were straight though, just saying. I mean fair. Um 
Denmark might not be Germania's. That came right um, from Scandi's mouth. Let me see. Out of all the ancients, who would be most likely to say, ooh, that was a work. That was a work out of myself. Sorry, I cannot English right now. Can you read it? <laughs> yeah. Ooh, that was a workout on my self-restraint on strangling you. That was better. I can't English. Anyone talking to me? It actually sounds exactly like something I'd say. It does. Germania does know. Like, it, it came out two years but ago. Like, since there's also a very real possibility that Germania is England's dad. Like, it could be Germania or Saxony, so, like... I think him and Kelda are pretty equal on that playing field. Embarrassing stories. You mean my life? That time he burned himself. That wasn't me. No, but it brings me such joy. Do you have a better embarrassing story you want to tell? Because I'd love to hear about your. No, I'm story. just gonna let's go with that one. I don't want to find something more embarrassing. Or like when he started hitting on me, and we were like pretty far into this entire conversation when he realized that I wasn't female. Like, he still rolled with it, but you could, like, kind of see how he, like, just stopped for a second and he was like, okay, and then continued. Uh, the horse, as a senator, is one of my top five worst emperors. Additions mm -hmm. to the um, uh, the city of Rome. I have never dropped it, uh, Feliciano or um, Romano. Or you know, on their heads. And that, if I've that did happen, Spain it was. I've dropped Spain and Portugal at least once, once each. Children are resilient. Fine. That face was more aimed at a Norwegian girl than uh, than at your statement. Um, what? what? Anyway, we have the one, two, three, four, five. Um. Or like saying it, I guess. Yeah. Which is the quickest way to a man's wallet. Um. I want to say Finnick. Yeah, Finnick. A knife to the throat. Either Tyven or Scandi. Like, yeah. Let, let's say Scandi. And then have gone to the back. He uh, um, can be Steven Roos. Poison in his cup. Egypt? 
Yeah. Yes. Definitely. And you're all horrible. That could totally be Mac, y'all. Yeah. Yes, Mac, y'all. Mac is like mo one of the most level-headed ancients out there. Most of us are a little bit damaged. Only well, a little. He's also, he's also damaged, but not the way the rest of us are. He's also one of the youngest. Yes, that's probably something to do with that. Um, nickname Christian King. So on the Oh. Oh. What? After styling this wig, it's too heavy in the back. Because I have like this. Are you talking braid. about Nero? Okay, yeah. Nero as the Antichrist. That was a Google article <laughs> that I just pulled up on my phone. I would not say uh, Nero was Christian though. Like he burnt those. Yes. Um. Questions. Little bit. Your new Nero was by you know? far my worst emperor. Hmm. I complimented your new clothing. Thank you. Your tunic is also pretty fabulous. Thank you. I need a hairpin. Do I have one? Yes, I do. Fantastic. Are there any questions from you guys? Uh, also, we should probably decide, like, are we going to do a dish of rule, or are we going to keep this running until Grey comes back? Uh, I don't mind. Like, I will need to eventually leave the room to get my dinner. Yeah, of course. But I... I have no idea what that happens. care what we decide. Okay. We'll figure something out. To answer that question, yes. Um... Nope. I... I have it on multiple people. Whose identities I don't particularly want to divulge right now. Or ever. Well, you also confessed your love last time we had a, um, a meeting like this, and it was all the complete bullshit back then. Okay, which one would be Nick Nack? Yeah, it is Nick Nack. It's time for Nick Nack. Yeah, it's Nick yeah. Nack. Time to Nick Snack. Lunch, lunch, it's time for lunch. <laughs> well, guess who? Is it me? I think that one's you. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm thinking munch, munch, it's time for lunch is probably like health and Nick Nack it's time for it's time to snick snack um goal I goal. think it worked and then the other two are just you and me 
it's, it's right like, after each you other. Know, it's like that scene from the Road to El Dorado where they're like, you know that little voice people have in their head that tells you not to do stuff? You don't have one. That's the exact situation with Rome. My mythology is not ripped off of from these things. Um, it's very similar, but that's because her religion was shoved down my throat from a very young age. Um, I was going to continue that sentence, but I decided against it. Um, and due to this, I, or my people, took a new look upon the religion we'd been forced to follow and make it our own. Just like, you know, uh, uh, Jew Judaism and Christianity. Uh -huh. Such. But no, I was barbaric for having my own religion. Of course. It wasn't mine. It was so barbaric. <laughs> exactly. This is my OC in a different color and more violent. It's fine. It's fine. Different name. Different clothes. Different people. I'm just like exactly. seeing all these like mental images of Sonny the Hedgehog in different colors. Like, yeah. Back to the anyway, crush question. Yes. At least uh, I was their favorite to say weapon. Oh, was there another question? Well, I was going back to the crush question. Oh, yeah, sure. Um, you're going that even if I did say who I had a crush on, they wouldn't believe it. So I'm just going to not. Well, you're just generally full of bullshit, so... It's fine. I would understand them. Um, I like so to think I'm matured with age. You've yet to prove it to me. So you perhaps you're right, but... Uh, I suppose what's the harm in that? Okay, favorite. favorite weapon and least favorite. I like elephant. Is elephant a weapon? I choose elephant. No, I I actually think that a good strategy is is like one of the most important weapons you can possibly have. Um. Carrot animal, elephant. I like elephants. <laughs> uh, least favorite weapon. <laughs> um, I, I don't know if I have a least favorite weapon. I was never much of a fighter myself. You, look, this body is not made for fighting. I'm the brain of the operation. Like my two is the bronze. Like he goes fighting in it. Like, sure, go hit stuff with something. Good. You know these words you? so well. Um, I word well. Then not a thing. I like the baluster. It's like, 
It's like a cabin. But like, back in the day. Um, it was a very good long-range weapon. My least favorite weapon would be burning logs. Zero out of ten. Elephants are great, though. Elephants are a great weapon. They're also a bad weapon, but not as bad as burning logs. Um, favorite animal would be a wolf. Burning logs are also a little more practical, seeing as it was quite difficult to get the fucking... to get the elephants through the Alps. That was not fun. A lot of them but, died. Yeah. But, I got you running and screaming away, so it was worth it. Favorite You're going to say, so who's the real winner here? So who is the real winner here? You might have won the war, but who's the real winner here? Still me? <laughs> That's what happens when you win wars. I got... I just... No, I got great, great pleasure from just seeing you scatter. It's great. Anyway, favorite animal. I said uh, the wolf. Okay, I didn't hear you. Um... Nicknames for the other ancients. I'm just thinking of those like, what are they called in your phone kind of memes, and I'm like... Volvorax? Actually, let me, let me see what I have Germania down as. Because I actually have Germania's number. Um... Well, since I've blocked Rome's number, I don't have him in my phone, but uh, I, um, I put him down as furry. And, uh, yeah, Germania would just be Lorax. <laughs> don't laugh. Um, I think Scandinavia would... No, wait. I was going to say Scandinavia was going to be if I was straight, but then I realized I'd totally rather do Gaul or Egypt than Scandinavia. Scandinavia is just like a scary lady. <laughs> Gaul would be Bay. I'm trying to think of something for Persia that would be PG. Like, I know it doesn't have Not to be PG. PG, but I'm trying to think of... I know, but I'm trying to think of something that could be PG. <laughs> like, my eyes up here. <laughs> uh, sorry. Yes. Wow, rude. I'm deaf. Yeah. Even worse. <laughs> yeah. Um, what would people be in your phone while I'm thinking about more things? Well, well like Germania is actually Germanian trash. Literally. So it, it works. Um, Scandinavia would be Ice Stitch. He would be Salt Queen. Um, Finnick would be horse fucker. Madgar would be horse. Um Finnick is actually the real furry. True. Um you'd be the burn emoji, the fire emoji, that would be you. 
Greece. You know that you know that would... chance I said I'd give you, like you're on thin ice already, so you should probably think about what you're saying. Um was that a heat joke? I'm sorry. <laughs> Oh look, it I has a card now. Um, Greece would... I would have blocked her number, she wouldn't be in my phone. Egypt would be like the eye of the Egyptian eye emoji. I believe that exists. Yes. Uh, Iberia would be... Oh no, I would have Egypt, I'm gonna correct something I said, Egypt would be Bay, Gold would be Saito. Yeah. Um, Celt would be the bear emoji. Gaul would be a knife emoji. Basically, I don't know anything about Celt, so I think I'd just like call him Yum or something. Just like, mm. eye candy. Accurate. Um. Yeah, that's all I can think of so far. No, that's Mandy. He's still like Andy. You can still have sex with someone if they're married. I've done it. We'll know everything about that. But yeah. On both sides. Like, uh, unfortunately, Cal is like an actually like very loyal husband, so I haven't gotten with that yet, but someday. You needed to be, have it done while he was alive and his wife was dead. This is the only opportunity. I'll figure something out. I mean, he's obviously still thirsty for you, so I mean, there must be like some disorder. I mean, who hasn't? Uh, I think that was all questions. Yeah, it was. Why am I attractive? Well, baby, I was born this way. I mean, he has nothing else going for him, so... My looks are the only thing I have, okay? I mean, that's fair. Carthage isn't a very attractive man. I didn't make that joke. No. I know. I don't even know who this is the child of, so obviously they can't be all that. Didn't that one get, like, adopted by Roos? I think it might have been part of Roos's giant orgy. With, like, those four other... Uh, ancients. Great. Um... Do I love you like hug? Not from you, because you're a child and I don't want to do anything when near to you, so. You're like one. First impressions uh, of Scandi, Egypt, and Elf. Okay, but like Scandi and Egypt are very, very like 
close to being the same person, just from like different continents. Except I get along with Egypt. Of the time, but like, yeah. yes, but you've also known Egypt for longer than you've known Scandi, so that might have something to do with it, or maybe you just came like off on the wrong foot with Scandi. I don't even know I mean, what like, I came on with Scandi. Well, I think the difference is probably like even though they have very similar personalities, they have incredibly different cultures. So that probably has something to do with them. Oh, yeah. yeah. He's gonna leave me now. I think that's bad. Are you gonna leave for food soon? Uh, maybe. I also get along better with the Egypt than Scandi, but that's because it's about, about stuff with the Spain and Portugal, and now she hates my guts. But, like, I can live with that. Uh, and Elf, I haven't talked to him. He's very, like, stoic and shit. So I'm like, you seem bored inside. Uh, okay, so my first in impression of Scandi was terror, because I was suddenly having flaming rocks, or not, not rocks, logs, uh, thrown at my head, for no reason. Like, I was just walking through forests, and then, boom, flaming log. And I'm like, what? Uh, Egypt, she seemed cool. But, like, I was three when I saw her. Um, and Elf, I thought, was literally an angel. So, I mean... But you were also basically, like, five. Yeah. Um, I didn't even know the language then. Carpet, why wouldn't you give Mr. Rome a chance? Well, I just said that I would like give him a chance to see that he's improved himself, but mostly because he fucking killed me. That was really bad timing for my fucking voice to crack, that was annoying. Because he burned me to the ground. So, he's not a nice person. He's quite a dick, actually. Best parent mm -hmm. among the ancients. That is a debate that can start wars. Oh, and kelp. Goal, I guess. Scandi, like, kelp, and goal. <laughs> Finnick doesn't accept one of her children. Goal is the only one of these nominees that I like in the world. I'm gonna vote goal because. I love my, my little Saito. Even though, like, her child is half that thing over there, but, like, he wasn't raised by Rome, so. I'm sure well, he's a... Uh, Oh my back. You need to be dead to go. <sighs> my back don't like me right now. Speaking of Rome, have you ever listened to Romano as you've done with the mid channel? Yes. No, never. Usually. Never. You've never visited Feliciano, so of course you've never visited Romano. Um, 
Usually when I visit Feliciano, I visit Romano as well on the same trip when I escape from God because God does not like me sneaking out, so I have to do it all in one trip. Um, I don't know if Gaul has any older children. France is the only one that, like, I know. She might be the parent of Belgium and Netherlands. But isn't that, like, isn't that an ancient call, like, I cannot say that in English. So I'm not gonna try. But there's, like, another ancient in that area, isn't there? I, I don't know. I, I said maybe. I'm honestly not sure. How exactly do you escape APH God? Well, you convince him to stand very still. Then you wrap him in rope, tie the rope, and run. That's how you escape APH God. One day, we should have someone in the ancient panel who's AP God, and they should just be dressed like Dumbledore. Yes. I will be, I will be AP God, I will be Dumbledore. I'm actually, no, that's out of character, we'll wait with that. Actually, we can the break character for a bit. Done. Yeah. Because I'm going to stop recording. Actually.